Two people on a computer that had the environs. Yeah, there was no options for them. Um, that I could see. Even with this plugged in, like... game could do a better bit, uh, better job of giving you a hint for this part of the puzzle. Yeah, that's okay though. We will get it. I don't mind looking around a bit. Add some more to the gameplay. Like puzzles in um, Penumbra and stuff, I always found quite interesting. Like, they're not hard puzzles, right? But you have to think about things to a certain extent. Okay. There's nothing here. My theory is that we need Alice, or whatever her name is, um, to become one of the modules. So that he expects her to be in the room, or... Something, maybe. Or even put Catherine in there. Takes everyone a really long time. Catherine currently. She's in the Omni tool thing, but if I suppose if I go get it, plug it in, um, then if if Catherine would can be, better, what would make him talk? if Catherine would then be in the room, I suppose that would work. Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. He likes Hogwarts. Alright. And Australia. Actually, it looks more American than Australia. Bad child award. Achievements of engineering youth. The big thunk. Oh, he's a little bit taller than me. Profession Wrangler. My YC. Likes hole punches. Possibly has a wife. Cute. Yeah, what are these? That's the oldest one. Kira's finally agreed to evacuate Delta. Goya, Kraya, and I moved into Theta today. Akira said he'd stick around for a while longer. The crazy bastard. I take pride in my work, but goddamn, that place is miserable since the surface stopped sending parts. Did my arc scan together with Alice. Brandon a girl named Alice. They did their scans together. Alice Coster? We could try to make him think that she's there during the simulation. Might make him talk. Not sure how, though. Keep looking. That was my thought. Uh, Straw Army told me that the hangover would basically kill me. Such an arsehole. I was fine at first, but got a splitting headache a couple of hours later. The biggest pain was that Ch Chan girl. She's so fucking uncomfortable all the time. It makes my skin crawl. <laughs> Straw Army went ballistic and shut down all future scans for the ARC project. Apparently Conrad watched in on the continuity and just fried himself right on the pilot seat after the scan. 
I was gonna sneeze, and it didn't happen. Something tells me we're getting nuke security ciphers. I just heard that Kamal Rabi service team is going to Delta to pick up Akers. He's been alone for months now, can't imagine what he's been up to. He's been playing solitaire on his PC, just on his own for months, over and over again. He's now the world's champion. Random, I'm really a mess thinking about the scan. Everyone is being so brave, all smiles, no regrets. You know how you said you would hold my hand during the scan? If the offer still stands, I gratefully accept. If we do it together, we could suffer the hangover together as well. They say it takes a couple of days to recover. Kisses, Alice. Alice and Brandon were definitely in Ida. Good, then we should find a way to incorporate her into the scan. That's why he was so annoyed. Did I click this already? I don't think I did, did I? I'm waiting for Strasky and I'll borrow to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs, I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. I think I just heard Alice talking to Brandon on the intercom. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. Great, this is exactly what we need. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. I love the uh, rapport between these two. Freecell had a one impossible game? Really? <laughs> that shaman. Yes. Simon. Simon that shaman. Do you mind? I hardly know. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I can't remember where it is. So you're not worried that there are other Simons or Catherines running around out there? Now I am. Geez, Simon, some thoughts are better left alone. <sighs> that wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. About Strohmeyer. He's sending you to the new site for ASAP. What should I tell him? It's all right. I can talk to him. Wait. Didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. I do feel hungover. OK. It's 1729 over 42. 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I should I'm probably sorry, write that long. down. Brandon. Goodbye. No, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. Quack. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. Uh Actually it's more of a throw around. Catherine remembered it. Okay, that's good. Erase. I wanna erase them. There's uh plenty of other robots that have AIs around here. Or copied intelligence rather. What's one more gonna be? Uh, I need to go back to the. Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. I get the feeling this is about to get really creepy really fast. So we have like. 
wonder what the Succeeded. real would have thought if you knew about me. What do you mean? You do know about yourself. No, I, I mean the real Simon. The human Simon. Going by your reactions, I'd say you'd be pretty upset. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. Spent collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, that's it. That's I just got knocked off. I forgot that's, that's a thing. Huh. Yeah. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Doesn't sound like a good option to me. That's weird, never mind. Oh, with acceptable parameters. Is that a Half Life reference? Uh, wait, how do I even get out there? Out for moving doors. Be pretty useless if they didn't move. Um, what is? Can I actually climb up this? not quite creepy enough right now. This room does feel a bit weird though. Where's that going? I can't remember what she said. Get in the Dumbat plugger in and head into the abyss? Like... certain I can't use this. Sounded like a spitter from Half Life, actually. Take this chair, and she'll be my friend while Catherine is not around. Oh my god, I am the big dumb. I need to learn to look at floors. Alright. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Check your side with the devices plugged in. <laughs> oh well. Bubbles! Yeah, a submarine does not appreciate sentience. Bit dark in here. Not enjoying, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, I can move this, okay. did have a bit of a uh, really big panic. I assume it's down there somewhere now. Nothing is ever simple in horror games, is it? This is a uh, restarting team. This is feeling uh, very alien isolation y right now. I'm pretty sure Amanda Ripley crawls through air ducts faster though. save that one in case I actually need some health later. Oh, a thing. Can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. Hey, power. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Oh, thank you, Leonard. I will I'll probably play for another 15 minutes or so. Then I'll head to bed, as it will be nearly 2am at that point. I do remember... Excuse me. I do remember, um... These corridors when Mello was playing this, though. I know there's a creepy bit coming up. What's this thing? Could you get inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Well, I'll give it a try. But wouldn't you just... brain scan someone and then upload it? Can you reach the on switch? 
He wants to make sure you have something resembling a brain to scan. Ah. That makes a lot of logical sense. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. <laughs> You're at 85% hope, sorry. Don't know how to get on the arm. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. cecil has got a point. Well, I don't know. Um, but then if he if he's like, let's go eighty five percent real human material, entirely a human mind, isn't he basically human anyway? Because then it's like, say you 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 put the human mind inside a robot, right? And arguably it's like, are you human or are you not? What if you could transplant a mind, a complete personality, brain, existence into another human being? Like, literally like a brain transplant, right? Are you still a human at that point? Well, most people would probably say yes, so... Where, where does the definition of human come from, you know? Is it physical? Is it mental? I like this game, it makes you question things. I've decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan and I don't see how we'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed me when we started at the project. I'm sorry, I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone, I just wanted to save something. Apply interface module, seal arc actual. Launch arc, load the bullet. Uh, wait, that's that. Arc locator, that's fine. Arc attitude survey. To gauge staff opinion, please turn out so far further away. Recently, it was decided that the arc project would be Count Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic, catastrophic condition. I think the ARC project is the most logical step towards saving mankind, and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Uh, well, if there's no other option, then yes. To embark, every passenger needs to be flashed through with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger Mark 7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun and technically survive for thousands of years living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark would I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Uh I guess. Depends how screwed the Earth truly is. The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make the quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will be... Will out of necessity... 
will out of necessity be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our immortality. I agree with that. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Um... Hmm. I don't know. Because if I disagree with this, it's going to contradict my last answer. Really. It would probably benefit the society, though, let's be honest. It's like a ink. I'm just thinking of like Fallout 4, right? And the AI, the, AI, the synths, um, that's what I'm picturing it as. They were pretty cool to be fair. Uh, what else have we got in here? Start an ARC simulation. I want to see how it works. <laughs> Enable NPCs, yes, no. Start an ARC simulation. Let's do it. How suitable usage. So much detail in this game. I love it. Uh, how do we do an arc simulation? I don't really want to leave this room because uh, it will end stream shortly. But... Where did this go? Where's that one going? Can't move this. Oh, it's. Do I connect them together? With this. The arc doesn't even look that bulky. This is gonna be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. Your people? But she was one of us. Do I need to. Hang on a second. What are these? How much longer am I going to stream? Probably about five minutes. Just gonna have a look around in here and then head for the big sleeps. Oh, we did a thing. I can solve the room IRL. I mean, 24 hour stream was um, enough to wipe me out for a day, so 100 years will be something else. <laughs> Approximately 896 terabytes memory corrupted. Excuse me. Corruption detected. Please reduce memory footprint. What don't we need? Wait, how much over is this? Quite a considerable amount.
pipe, Soma. No. Mostly fuck chairs. <laughs> Time to configure a Gen 2's in installation. The mechanics of this puzzle seem to confuse many players. Well, I just wanted to say that I'm glad I found your channel. I'm very excited for what's in. Oh, thank you, Oxy. That means a lot. I'm glad you decided to hang out here. Uh, I think I understand the mechanics of the puzzle. I'm just trying to work out the solution. Like, I don't want to add three things for the sake of. I think I'm going to have to, though. But I also don't trust that. Um using a smaller file footprint is going to actually help. Actually, let's get rid of those. What, can I fill any of these? Hmm. Alright. Get rid of all liquids, who needs to get wet anyway? Yeah, basically requirements. Quite as missing. Wait, does that add the same thing? Dynamic light and heat. Fluid. Wait, can I fill water and fluid at once? No. This physics fluid. That's a lot of space. Oh my god, we did it. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross-section of the process. Alright, just feel a bit bad for all the boats that we're going have. World we're gonna have. Been plenty of people assume that the puzzle has come up with this exact total. Oh really? No. Then I am a programmer, so... Pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Hang on a second. Can I slow this down? Yes. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. <laughs> Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Well, he said he prefers to travel light. Let's just leave Catherine behind, shall we? Hit breakpoint. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. 